All right, they're both done. So, I guess we'll start off with the ST12. Um, uh, threw on a three-point hitch. It works pretty good. It's got, it's painted black. I actually painted it black to go on this tractor because I was gonna keep this three-point hitch on this one. I didn't paint these because these always get scratched up, so I figured why paint them. And the part here that's black uh, kind of blends into the frame now. So uh, I did end up, I did paint the steering wheel as you guys probably seen in the video. And uh, don't ever paint steering wheels by the way, especially these uh, rubbery ones. Because it gets really sticky and I had to take some paint thinner and take get all the paint off that I painted the steering wheel. Now it's not sticky anymore. I had a little issue with this front tire. I put the nut on too tight for the inside here. There's this big nut. I put that on there too tight. And I was driving around and the bearing was overheating. And there was grease oozing out all over the rim. So I had to clean that off. Um, I had to bend in these bolts a little bit to keep the belt on. Because that kept on flopping off. Both grills are uh, not broke at all anymore. This one was actually broken off here and here. Now I know I did not do the best job at, uh, it's a little dusty. I know I didn't do the best job at uh, making this one again, because you can still see that it's still bumpy. But uh, it's not broke anymore. At least it's one piece. So this is gonna be a cold start on this. This hasn't ran since, uh, yesterday afternoon so it starts kinda hard or not It could run a little bit better if I had a air filter on it. Um, I'm going to try to look for an air filter. I'm going to probably end up putting one of those pod air filters on it. Uh, so that's that tractor. Now this one, we got the lights to work. Front lights, the back one here, I took a look, it took quite a bit to get working. And now that one works. Gas tank under the seat. Let's do a cold start on this. This one hasn't ran also since yesterday. Yesterday night I was running this. This is like one o'clock or so in the afternoon. So now let's uh, start this up. Full throttle. Oh, you're gonna make me a complete liar. Here we go. Wait for that to warm up a little bit.
also uh, under the hood for the engine. We've got a Honda GX390 with the Onan shroud, so it still looks like it's got the original engine. This Honda, one thing that's nice about it is it has a fuel gauge on it, and it works, and that's saying full. Um, this tractor has some weird things about it. Now, the bottom, if you look under here, the paint is white. It looks like original paint, that, and it's white under there. I have no idea why. And now this is a 1974 SS16. Now you can tell by that number that that's what it, it is. And the original paint, it looked like there was white everywhere on this as the original paint it looks like. It's either original paint or somebody did a really good job, tore the thing completely apart and uh, sanded it down and repainted it white other than they painted the yellow on top of it. Other than on top of the yellow they did the orange that you guys seen before. So this tractor, I'm really not sure about that paint. It's kind of odd. Now they did make one that was all white. Only one though, and I'm pretty sure this isn't that one. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, both of these tractors. Uh, you're going to see both of these tractors in action very soon. I want to find a, uh, a plow, and then I'll put a plow, mold road plow, on the back of this, and then uh, we'll see how that does. Probably need some different tires. Probably I'll put some eggs on here for doing that, and then some wheel weights. But yeah, thanks for watching.